To start, sustain, and grow a business is not easy, and a special Portsmouth Public Schools Committee is working to help minority-owned and women-owned businesses in Hampton Roads using a $1.5 million grant. Today, school, city, and state leaders launched the pilot program. 10 on your side's Counter Patterson explains how this program is helping the next generation of entrepreneurs. A packed house with more than 200 nonprofits and small business owners registering to learn more about the $1.5 million grant from the state to help with economic growth and inclusivity. From her perspective, minority and women-owned businesses are the lifeblood of the communities. State leaders like Jawan Ward work to get state-approved funds for the three-year pilot program to help train entrepreneurs. Gwen Davis, the program administrator, believes it will open doors and build bridges. No, they need help. They know that they need to understand the system in order to go to the next level. And they want to get started the right way. And they want to sustain and grow their businesses the right way. Five weeks of classes start in the fall at Tidewater Community College. We want to help them go to the next level. And a lot of times they need access to capital. Part of the money is used for the Youth Entrepreneurship Pilot Program. We're going to use these business owners to host our children as interns and give them on a job assistance. And this summer, the youth are in internships now. 45 high schoolers already have an internship. The idea is to equip the future business owners with the same tools for success. I'm, I'm a woman myself, and I know that women and children are the heart of every community. Uh, we are the leaders. We are what keep communities strong. And even my male counterparts will agree with that. In Portsmouth, Kiana Patterson, telling your side.